Hi everybody, Jim Quinn. And what I'm making is a short video on how you use Microsoft Photo to trim a subsection out of a live stream file. So I'm gonna share my screen. So what we do when we share a uh, substream is we first we go and we find the file. And so I found it, it's here. And I'm going to right click on that file and I'm gonna open it with photos. And when I open it with photos, I'm gonna get something that looks like this. And I'm gonna to go to the edit and create option. And I'm gonna select trim. And I'll get a screen that looks like this. This is kind of a little search head that they give us. And I'm gonna use this to find the beginning and the end of the sections that I wanna subset out. So as we scroll forward, you can see that we're walking our way through the file. And there it is, that's what I want, is I want the children's message. So it's a little bit of a fooler, but you actually are looking for the beginning of the audio as well as the video. So you'll have to have the headphones on or the sound on so that you can find the beginning or sometimes you will truncate part of the message or you'll actually hit a big dead spot and we don't want that either. Come down in front for the... Okay, so it sounds like I'm right at the beginning and I'm gonna back that up just a little bit. And that's probably where I'm gonna start it. That's close enough because we're gonna get the children's sermon starting within five seconds. What I'm trying to avoid is a minute or two dead time. So I'm gonna take this white start button now and it's gonna go across and it's gonna approach that little hash mark and it's gonna snap in and there I've got it. I've got the beginning. Sometimes it helps to write down the start and the end times because you can actually still kind of goof that up and you don't want that either. You can kind of move it around. So uh, that can sometimes help. Now I'm gonna look for the end. Well, that's a little past. So there we are. And what I'm looking for now is when we stop speaking. Okay. So that looks like it could be a good end right there. Not exactly perfect. If you wanted to kind of back it up just a little bit, well, you want to be careful there. Okay, so that's what I really wanted to catch there was that, uh, that little closing benediction. And so now we take this and we back it up. You can see that hash mark and we're approaching it. We got to kind of slow down here. And there we go, we snapped in. Okay, so now we've got our start and our end, and we are going to save as, and it's going to give us the name with trim behind it. That's fine. We're going to save it. So now that blue bar is going to run, and that is the conversion. That's what we want. You can come in and kind of uh, uh, do a, a minimize on the screen. You can, you can make the screen just partial, but don't ever hit the minimize right here because if you do, for some reason, the conversion stops. Now that conversion ran fast. And like so uh, I'm gonna now. stop it right there, but you can see exactly what we've got. Sometimes it helps to check. But sometimes that's going to run for five or six minutes. And by, by reducing it from full window size, that gives you the ability to go outside and start doing other work. So that's the way it happens. We can keep the original. The trim comes in as a new name. And we've got what we want.